What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we found out why EA is pretty much abandoned or really hasn't published many games on the Nintendo Switch. So this all came about because EA had their investors call this week or their investor relations call, whatever you want to call it. And um, the CEO, Andrew Wilson, went over why they haven't been bringing many games over to the Nintendo Switch. And here is what he had to say. Anytime we're evaluating platform conversations, we're really looking at a couple of things. One, does the game really fit the profile of that platform in terms of the control or the community ecosystem? And two, do we think the community playing on that platform would appreciate the game and go there or would they prefer to play it somewhere else? We have a lot of data that would suggest a great many Switch owners also own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or a PC and very often choose to play the games that we make on those platforms, even though they have a Switch and they enjoy a lot of great content on the Switch. This is super interesting because as we know, the Nintendo Switch has been selling like hotcakes. They've already sold over 37 million units worldwide. So it's really enticing for publishers, especially ones like EA, which are really, you know, all they care about is the dollar and the money and they do all of these things like the microtransactions and all of these sort of predatorial things to want to put their games on the Nintendo Switch. Now, you can read into that in those comments however you want, but the way I see it is that EA obviously has done some sort of research in the sense that them putting development time and money into creating these games and pointing them over to the Nintendo Switch would not give them enough return on their investment. Now, let's take a look at what EA has on the Nintendo Switch right now. So they have FIFA 18 and FIFA 19, so the FIFA series. They have Fae. They have Unravel. I think it's Unravel 2. And I think that's about it. Let me see. Let's see what else they have. Yep. Just check, that's it. That's all they have, those games on the Nintendo Switch, which is crazy to think about because there are so many good EA games that came out back on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, as well as lots of games that have come out for the this generation of consoles that people would love to see on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I know a lot of people dislike EA, but when it comes down to it, they do make some games that we all enjoy playing. So if we had those on the go on the Nintendo Switch, I'm sure people would be happy about that. Let's think, some of the games that will fit perfectly on the Nintendo Switch. So, The Sims is the first thing that comes to mind, and I think that's what triggered this whole entire conversation, is they were asked about bringing that over to, to the Nintendo Switch. That would be perfect on the Nintendo Switch. That would sell like crazy, and, and I'm sure EA knows that, but because of maybe the lack of good support for online, and for internet connections maybe on the Nintendo Switch, maybe they're thinking that they won't sell as many microtransactions or as any additional things for The Sims on the Switch. Like other games I think would be great. Plants vs. Zombies would be a perfect Nintendo Switch game. Um, Titanfall I think would be a great shooter on the Nintendo Switch. Titanfall 2. Madden potentially. I mean they sold Madden on the friggin Nintendo DS like all the time and they're not bringing that over to the Nintendo Switch. I think Madden would be great on the Nintendo Switch because I mean Madden's one of their best selling if not their best. Well I think FIFA is but it's one of their best selling sports games specifically in North America and I think that would be perfect on the Nintendo Switch. And then things like maybe remasters or bringing over Mass Effect, like they brought it over to the Wii U, or bringing over the Dragon Age series, RPGs like that would be great on the Nintendo Switch because I don't know about you, but playing, having the ability to play a deep, long RPG on the go when you're not at your home or on your TV really helps you play the game more and get through it and enjoy it more. So yeah, there's a lot that an EA could be bringing over to the Nintendo Switch that I think would sell well but I just think they realize that microtransactions and, and those additional money that they could be making won't be as good on the Nintendo Switch as they are on other consoles. That's probably the main reason why they aren't bringing it over, but who knows, maybe they've just done deep research and they don't think the games will sell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which, and let me know if you would like to see more EA games on the Nintendo Switch and what you think about EA explanation as to why they're not bringing the games over. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and everything, and I'll catch you in the next video.